Across Japan, there are forbidden places, known as Kinsakuchi, that guidebooks studiously avoid. Places that for some reason or another, have gained a dark and dangerous reputation. Wander into the murky shrines and temples, erected to mitigate their ill effects, and even the most skeptical atheist could find themselves, at the mercy of malevolent forces. Of protecting our viewers, here are the six most dangerous places to consciously avoid. 1. Izumo Taisha, Saishi Joisuke. Izumotasha is one of Japan's most famous shrines, in Shimane Prefecture. As previously seen in Japanese mythology episode 3, it is dedicated to an agricultural deity, named Okuninushi. It's perfectly safe, to step inside the main building in search of good luck, but do not wander over the boundary markers at the rear of the shrine. Do not ignore the high wall and large trees, designed to keep it out of sight. They say, you feel an immediate sense of unease, if you step inside. Unwary visitors report developing health problems, constant fatigue, high fever, severe headaches. Legend has it, that bronze daggers, and a claw-shaped stone from the Yeo period were discovered, during the construction of the shrine in the Edo period. It is believed that spooky rituals were conducted here, and the powerful spirits of ancient priests still haunt the area, jealously protecting it from uninitiated intruders. To be safe, we suggest seeking good luck elsewhere. 2. Yawata no Yabushirazu Just 30 minutes from the bright lights of downtown Tokyo, is what's left of the forest of Yawata no Yabushirazu. Legend says that if you stray into its murky depths, you will be spirited away, never to be seen again. The theory among those too clever to risk finding out, is that this woodland grove has a sinister connection to Teira no Masakado, who led a bloody rebellion against the emperor in the 10th century. Having seized control of eastern Japan, he was killed by his cousin Sadamori. Masakado's reputation as the nation's most vengeful ghost has quietly grown in the years since his violent death. Some suggest that this is not the site of his death, but a long-forgotten graveyard for local nobility, or simply a place where poison gas vents from deep underground. But this seems unlikely when the grove is ringed by homes and businesses. Who knows? Perhaps Masakado's spirit, just doesn't like property developers. 3. Kubizuka Daimyojin Kyoto, the former capital of Japan, can trace its history back 1,200 years. The Oe Mountain Pass, that provides access to the town, has long been a magnet for yokai, supernatural entities that take various grotesque forms. Here, during the Heian period, the warlord, Minamoto no Yurumitsu, confronted the Oni, or demon, leading nightly raids on unsuspecting citizens. Shutendoshi, one of the three most frightening yokai in Japan, would lead his malevolent crew down from the mountain, to rape, rob and murder the unwary. On the Emperor's orders, Yurimitsu, arrived with powerful for retainers, and a plan to get his supernatural opponents, blind drunk. Despite cutting off the head of the furious demon leader, it bit deep, into his helmet. On the way back to Kyoto, the Jizo statues of Oinazaka Slope warned Yurimitsu, not venture into the sacred capital with this impure, gruesome trophy. There is a mound, behind the shrine that is off-limits. Unless you're already sick and seeking a cure, it's not recommended that you hang around, Kubizuka Daimyojin Shrine, too long. There's nothing more dangerous than a demon with a 1,000-year hangover. 
4. Osoro Shidokoro Nagasaki Prefecture is notorious for the island of Tsushima, where an isolated corner of Mount Tadira is called Osoro Shidokoro, which translates simply as the horrifying place. Since ancient times, the mountain has been a sacred spot for the local Tendo faith. For centuries, it was forbidden to set foot on any part of the mountain. Even today, tree felling is banned. Anyone who enters must first purify themselves with salt and resist even the most compelling urge to shout or scream. And as every local knows, you must never pick up anything, even if it's something that you just dropped. If you stumble across a stone pagoda, whatever you do, don't turn your back on it. Retreat quietly, while reciting in noko, in noko, in noko. This is the local word for puppy dog. So, chances are this is all some kind of Scooby-Doo story to keep pesky strangers away from the sacred hills. 5. Oiranbuchi During the Warring States period, the Takeda clan, rulers of Yamanashi Prefecture, were destroyed by an alliance of generals from surrounding regions. In an effort to keep their hidden gold mine a secret, the local magistrate murdered anyone who might reveal its location. This included all the local prostitutes serving this rough-handed mining community. At a feast for the victors, the 55 prostitutes danced on a stage above the fast-flowing Inogisawa River, suspended on wisteria vines, which were then deliberately cut. Local officials gave instructions that no one was to offer assistance to the drowning women, and some believe that 12 monks were also killed to ensure their silence. The sight of this grisly spectacle is known as the Oiranbuchi. Those of you who saw our video about Oiran will know that they were very high-class prostitutes, which locals obviously thought sounded better than hookers drop. This is a popular spot for TV psychics, who relish the opportunity to sense a strong disturbance in the force. Oh, sorry, we forgot to mention. The local magistrate's name was Yoda. 6. Shinkai no Mori Another site of historical atrocities is a forest in Omohachiman, part of present-day Shiga Prefecture. Oda Nobunaga was a powerful warlord from humble origins who succeeded in unifying Japan with a grim degree of sheer ruthlessness. Legend has it that prisoners from the length and breadth of Japan's main island were brought to Omohachiman to be decapitated. Hence, it is called Shigai no Mori or the Forest of Corpses. You're advised not to cut down trees here, since it could prove an ugly reminder for a legion of unquiet spirits. This one is a popular haunt for hardcore horror fans and perhaps the occasional worshipper of a national hero willing to overlook his genocidal bent. The belief that certain places or things absorb the overwhelming emotions of people experiencing ecstatic joy, or more often pain, terror and incurable sadness, is not unique to Japan. However, the ancient, animistic beliefs of Shinto, the national religion, are a constant reminder that every tree, rock, doll, or microwave oven, has a spirit. In Japan, people say Nengar Komaru to describe where these powerful feelings, or Nen, reside. Bad taste jokes aside, we really don't recommend that you visit these places, out of some misplaced sense of curiosity. Assuming the ghosts and demons don't get you. Isolated spots that are shunned by locals, 
are a great place to fall victim to hungry bears, venomous snakes, and giant hornets that spit neurotoxins in your eyes. That's assuming you don't fall down a volcanic sinkhole. Welcome to Japan. Be sure to subscribe for more fun facts and the occasional, but essential, survival tips.